I remember it like it was yesterday. The day my art teacher came over to me and said, Put down the crayon, step away from the paper, and here's a key to the darkroom. You seem to like your camera. So, using the best line drawings and clip art I can find, I'm going to talk about this thing, which is an aperture, how lenses focus, and how depth of field works. Let's get to it. Let's start with a lens and add a focal plane. That's where the film or sensor lives in our camera. When light's reflected off objects, a lens focuses that light at the focal plane. Every lens has an optical center. If a lens is focused at the most distant point possible, we say it's focused on infinity. When focused there, we can measure back from the optical center to the focal plane. That measurement is the focal length of the lens. Right now, the lens is focused on the mountain, but we could just as easily focus it on this dude. To focus on closer objects, the lens moves farther forward from the focal plane. Light reflecting off of objects passes through the entire diameter of the lens before being focused at the focal plane. As we focus on objects that are closer to the camera, we move the lens farther from the focal plane. Eventually, we'll reach the minimum focusing distance. That's the nearest point where a lens will be able to focus. It's important to note that the distance between the lens and the focal plane becomes greater as we focus on objects that are closer to the camera. Now let's return the lens to the middle distance and focus on the man again. Imagine he's in a scene with objects in the foreground and background. When the lens is focused on the man, what happens to the foreground and background elements? Let's start with the mountain. Light reflects off of it, passes through the entire diameter of the lens, and converges in front of the focal plane and then diverges and forms a large out-of-focus circle of confusion. It does this because the point of focus is in front of where the lens is focused. What will happen with the foreground objects? Light will reflect off of them, pass through the entire diameter of the lens, and form a large circle of confusion, because the focal plane is too close to focus at that distance. A lens can only critically focus at one point at a time. What does an aperture do? The aperture is a tool in the lens that changes the intensity of light. It makes the lens opening smaller, reducing the diameter of the lens. They work best when they're placed near the optical center. If we run that same experiment again, we see how light passes through the lens in the same manner. The man is in focus. The light reflecting off the mountains passes through the smaller opening, converges in front of the focal plane, and forms a smaller circle of confusion. The same thing happens with the foreground elements. Light passes through the small aperture and forms a small circle of confusion. Circles of confusion are the areas in a scene that are not critically focused. The size of the aperture affect the size of the circle of confusion. Depth of field is the area of acceptable sharpness around the point where the lens is focused. By changing the diameter of the aperture, we can vary the depth of field in a photo. By using smaller apertures, we increase the depth of field because the out-of-focus areas are rendered by smaller circles of confusion. Often the circles of confusion take on the shape of the opening made by the aperture blades themselves.